Hi everyone, I recently traveled to Columbus, Ohio and I stayed at the Joseph Hotel in the Short North. So I wanted to share with you all what the hotel looked like and the area. So it is in the Short North, which is filled with boutiques, stores, and restaurants. So tons to do in walking distance and art galleries as well. And it's pretty close to the Ohio State campus. So great place to stay if you want to be near everything in the heart of the city. Now going into the lobby, you'll see that they do have a breakfast restaurant. So they only serve breakfast here. And while we were here, it closed at 11, but they do use the same kitchen as the Guild House, which is next door and it's attached. So you can just go straight from the lobby to the guild house without going outside and their food is really good so if you want food after breakfast you can go over there as well now you can see the lobby is fairly small but there is a lot of seating in the lobby so we did hang out here a couple of times when we were waiting for family to come in and out and it was pretty comfortable and then you do have the check-in area over here where you see people gathered and we were actually here during thanksgiving week and the week before the Ohio State Michigan game. So towards the end of the week, it got really busy. But before that, it was pretty dead in the lobby area. So it was a nice quiet place to hang out. And then the elevators are over here to the left, right before that door that opened up. So now I'm taking you up to the second level. There isn't really much up here, but a few paintings, more space to sit and hang out. And there are also ballrooms on this floor as well. Other than that, it's just a great space to get a better view of the city and what's around the hotel. But um, if you are hosting an event, you can rent out these ballroom spaces as well. So now going to the third floor, you have the gym. So they had a ton of equipment here. Again, by the time I recorded this, it was very busy. So you do see some things out of place. But other than that, in, earlier in the week, it was very clean. You didn't see towels or anything like that sitting out. But it does look out to the city again. So you get very nice views while you're working out. And they do have a lot of um, different things that you can actually use. So a good variety of equipment here, um, including weights. So on the right side here, you'll see that they have Peloton bikes, and then they do have weights as well, which I thought was really great. Now going up to the fourth floor, they have two rooms that were converted into spas, which I thought were really nice. And on the mirror here, they actually have a TV. So it doesn't look like a TV, but it actually displays like a TV on the mirror, which I thought was really cool. And then this was a very kind of calming space. I think the amount of lighting and everything they had in here was great. And then they do have a small spa menu that you can choose from and reserve whatever you want before you actually arrive at the hotel or you can reserve it once you actually arrive. So thought that this was a nice space to check out. And now we finally made it to my room. So we were on the sixth floor. We had the deluxe king room, which means we had a little bit more space. And this is room 602. So this does look out to the short north. They do have rooms that are closer to the highway as well. And I was told those are a little noisier. So if you are a light sleeper, you want to make sure that you are asking them at check-in to be a little bit further from the freeway so we did get a little noise in our room it was just more from people walking to and from the bars which you know once they start drinking they do get a little louder so that's pretty much all we got there but i was able to sleep through the night and then they do have goodies up here that you can purchase they have complimentary water and then underneath here once you open the door of this compartment you have your safe and then a refrigerator where you can purchase alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and then you can store your food here as well. So we definitely use this after Thanksgiving to store some of the pie that we brought back from dinner. So now going into the room, you do have a bit of space to put your suitcase over here to the left. And then you do have this nice king size bed with chairs and then two nightstands on each side of the bed. So right here, this is all of the closet space that you get. And then you also have a full size mirror in here 
your um, iron and ironing board and then your robe as well and then of course you have hangers so that's about all the space you get i never use the closets when i come to hotels or the drawers so it wasn't a problem for me but it is a little tight if you do use those normally so again here are the drawers and then the tv pretty nice size tv in the room which you can connect to your netflix or other um, platforms to watch things that you want to watch and i'll just take a quick look at the view so again we are on the side where you can see the short north um, we are on the sixth floor so we aren't on the highest floor but i think we had a pretty good view from the level we were at we were able to see trees buildings on the other side we could see the freeway so we were pretty happy with the view that we got for where we were and then um, i do want to mention as well that the hotel was very clean so i always go through and i wipe down every surface that i can think of when i'm in hotels and everything seemed to be very clean already so i was really happy about that and then also the lighting was pretty good as well so they had a ton of lamps around that um, we were able to light up the room with and then on the headboard of the bed you can actually plug in your phone and other devices if you want to charge anything or if you want to plug anything in which i thought was really nice and then same goes for the bathroom the bathroom was very clean as well if you notice the discoloration on the floor in the shower and then also on the counter here that's not from dirt it's just like the paint wearing away a little bit but the bathroom was very clean and I thought it was a really nice size too but I do want to mention that the water gets very hot so be careful with that because I almost burned my hand a couple of times that's how hot it gets so you do get a good amount of towels and washcloths they do actually have black towels out for makeup and they say makeup on it so that you aren't staining their white towels with makeup which i thought was really cool and then um, in the shower you do have your shampoo conditioner and body wash in there. So all of those smelled really good. I actually used the conditioner and the body wash that they provided and I really liked it. So that is it. I think that we really enjoyed our experience here. We would definitely stay here again when we come back to Columbus. I just loved how close it was to everything and the customer service was really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.